Hey, what's up guys, and thanks for joining me over on the second channel. Today's vehicle is a 2018 Ford Explorer, and this is a vehicle that I have always, always loved the look of. So it's definitely gonna be a pleasure to get this detailed today. Taking a quick look around the vehicle, and the outside is fairly dirty front to back, as the owner has to drive on gravel roads a fair bit, and then moving inside, and it looks like lots of that dirt has actually made its way inside too, as the floor mats are filthy, and the seats have seen some dirty shoes as well. And just before we dive into the detail, take a second and make sure you're subscribed to the channel and that you've got the bell on so that way you actually get notified when my new videos go live. All right guys, well I'm excited to get started on this thing. Let's get the pressure washer fired up and get started. Now, as I start on the pre-wash rinse, I figured I would let you know that this detail was filmed way back on December 6th and if you notice throughout the video that there's a few steps missing, like cleaning the wheels and tires for instance, it's because I was under a bit of a time constraint for this detail and the customer needed it back by a certain time. So I knew I didn't have time to make this into a main channel video. So I figured I would film everything that I could and it would be perfect to show you guys one of those details that I normally wouldn't have filmed. So besides not filming the wheels and tires being clean, you'll also notice I didn't film when going around with a detail brush. And like I mentioned earlier, it just takes time to move the camera around and set up shots. And the last thing that I wanted was to be tight for time and not be able to make sure that this vehicle was perfect before the customer picked it up. So I know I've seen a pile of comments on the main channel about how I never seem to get wet while washing a vehicle. I think my clothes here will actually prove that it does in fact happen sometimes. Now before you even ask, yes, my feet are perfectly safe here. With the wide 40 degree tip that I use on the wand, I'm actually able to hold the wand a few inches away from my skin without any issue. But I will say as a general rule, if you aren't aware of the power of your pressure washer, you should always wear shoes.
Now with the interior trim not being all that dirty, I'm just opting to wipe everything down with a damp microfiber towel, as using APC in this case really wasn't necessary. And you might notice I'm wearing my mask here, and that's because the owner had recently bought this vehicle from a smoker, and it really didn't smell very good. Now, if you guys are curious as to what products I'm using or where you can get them, I have the link to nearly every product and tool that I use in my details down in the description. So feel free to give those a look if you're interested. Now while I apply 303 Aerospace Protectant here to UV protect and dress all the interior trim, you can probably see there's a few specks of debris in the carpets and even though I've already vacuumed these carpets, as I'm in and out of the vehicle so many times over the course of a detail, it's inevitable that debris makes its way back inside. So before I finish every detail, the very last thing I do is do a final vacuum to make sure everything is perfect. Now to add some depth and gloss back to this beautiful paint, I'm applying some of my Meguiar's synthetic paint sealant, which should last for about six months and keep it protected over the winter. Moving to the tires and I decided to try out this 303 tire coating and protectant which will leave a nice satin finish when it dries and I'll just make sure to quickly wipe off any overspray on the rims.
Now while the tires dry, I'll take the opportunity to apply some 303 to all the exterior plastic here to revive it, UV protect, and really make it pop. All right guys, and six hours later, I am done with this Explorer. This thing is looking so good. Absolutely love that color. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel for more awesome videos like this. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.